When's the best time to start my data career? Stick around and I'll let you know. Friends, lately I've been getting a lot of motivation from listening to Jocko Willink tracks. I love his content on YouTube with Akira the Don. It's great for working out. You lift, you, you get some motivation, you hear the wisdom of uh, the SEAL commander himself. And a lot of it has been resonating with what I've experienced recently and the content that I'm putting out on this channel. A lot of people that I'm dealing with, whether they're resume clients, whether they're just people asking for advice, I still do help people on occasion, they're, they always ask, how do I start? What's the, what's the first step? What's the next step? My answer is always the same. When's the best time to start your data career? Today, right now, don't wait. The most important thing is to get out there, make a positive step, get some forward momentum, and then keep it going. But all you can do is today. You can plan for tomorrow and next week and six months from now and next year. But the only thing you can do today is take action today. So the more time you sit there treading water, the more time you're wasting. What you need to do is figure out what step one is right now today and take that step immediately. Now, I can't tell you what step one is. Each individual person is different. When you make that decision, hey, I'm going to change my career. I'm going to go into data now. When you make that decision, everybody's in a different place. I can, however, tell you what step one almost certainly is not. Step one almost certainly is not a course, a tutorial some other certificate or degree. Rarely, very rarely is that required. If you are here, if you're watching this content, if you already have the interest, chances are you're not at square zero. And even if you haven't done anything specific to become a data professional, even if you haven't taken a single course, you're likely not a high school student. You're likely here because you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s. You've already tried one career, found you didn't like it. You're working on a college major that you no longer really believe in, but you're not at square zero. You've had math classes. You've had statistics classes, almost, almost certainly. You teachers out there, you've done math. You've tracked data. So not being at square zero, your first step is likely not a course getting on Udemy and, and grabbing something for 10 bucks that has a 4.7 star rating and saying, let's kick it off with this. Going and doing the Google course on Coursera, which I do recommend, but that's not your first step. Your first step is in a positive direction towards a career. And you and I both know, if that next step you're considering is a course, some sort of MOOC, massive online course, something on Udemy, edX, Coursera, if that is your planned next step, chances are it's not your first one. Chances are that's number 10, and you're stuck in what I've heard called tutorial hell, what I call the treadmill of education. Now, treadmill can make you better. It can hone certain skills. But the funny thing about a treadmill is it's never going to get you anywhere good. You get on the treadmill, you get some exercise, you get off, you're right in that same place where you started. And that's what I think about a lot of these courses. Because the vast majority of people that I see consuming these courses, they're consuming them in mass. It's almost like an addiction. You get addicted to not having forward motion towards an actual goal, taking real action towards something that you want. And so the resumes that I review where they list their Udemy courses, they have dozens. And it's a fight to get them to take it off. So don't get stuck on the treadmill of education. Make a positive step. Well, what could that positive step be? Could be a resume, of course, near and dear to my heart. I'm not hawking my services here, but it's going to be a positive step towards a career, a resume, um, getting out there and meeting recruiters, working on your network, trying to figure out what your dream companies are, who has a good culture, where's a place that you might want to work, and who can you meet there? 
look at requirements for jobs. Okay, what jobs am I qualified for now? Fire off a couple of applications. You never know. Now, folks, lately, I'll give you an example. Lately, I've been reading some Russell Brunson books. So I'm working on Traffic Secrets, which is the third in his trilogy. I'm not hawking his books. Russell and I don't know each other. But I read a section called Fill Your Funnel. And it's talking about generating traffic and doing that through social media. Well, I'm already kind of established on LinkedIn, but I'm working more here on YouTube. And I had been mulling over this content course for quite some time. I read that section last Thursday. When did I post my first video in this series? That same day. I read those pages in the morning. It was an epiphany for me. Hey, this thing that I've been thinking about forever in a day, it's time to you know what or get off the pot. That morning, I read that section. I walked in here. I kicked off my workout. As soon as the workout was done, I said, hey, this is when I do my best thinking, my best talking, maybe. And I set up the camera and I recorded a video. That was the first one. And I've done it every day since, regardless of circumstances, regardless of time. When we started the company, it was on a Saturday night. I'd been thinking about it for a while. My wife and I were sitting there talking, having a drink or two. And it was probably nine o'clock on a Saturday night. And she said, well, what's involved in starting a company? I said, I don't know. So we took to the internet, drinks in hand, and sat there and realized, hey, all we gotta do is submit this form. It'll be processed on Monday and we'll have a LLC in North Carolina. So it looked like I was hesitating. My wife looked at me and she gave me the June Carter line. Let's go, time's a wasted. We submitted that form Monday morning, we had a company. Had no idea what to do with it. But the important thing was we took that forward step. Now we've got a company. Now the pressure's on. Now we gotta figure out what we're doing with this thing. So that's my challenge to you today. Wherever you're stuck, wherever you're sitting, wherever you're thinking about taking that next positive step, don't sign up for another course. Don't go research a second degree because your degree now isn't in data analytics. That's not important. Trust me, it's not important. Take a forward step. Take something that's going to get you closer to a career. Because I will guarantee you that once you submit that resume, nobody's looking for how many Udemy courses you've knocked out. Nobody's looking for the perfect relevance of your degree. They want to know that you can do the job and make them money. So that next step is getting you closer to proving that to an employer. When's the best time to start your data career? Right now. Time's a wasted. Friends, that's all I got for you today. Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.